So C control, I'm just going to cut right to it and, and sp spare everybody with some slides or spare everybody the slides about our company. We basically are the salesforce.com for IoT and the machine to machine applications. We're based in San Francisco. Actually, Salesforce is right down the street from us. And we've built a platform and an architecture that is designed to house um, lots of customers, potentially up to millions lots of different devices, and we do three core things. We connect to devices in a messaging infrastructure. We don't get down onto devices or try to do agents or firmware or anything. We message back and forth with devices. We gather all that data up into one big place where all of our customers live, and we can see all the data, but our customers can only see their slice of the data. We take that raw data and we transfer, transform it into meaningful data using a visual programming environment that's, uh, I'll show you, that's actually kind of a front end for Java 7 Enterprise. And then thirdly, once all the data has been manipulated, processed, and managed into analytics and other useful information as well as business workflows, you're able to drag and drop an interface together to create and deliver off of the platform itself uh, actual business applications. Um, along those lines, it's been designed for economies of scale, as you saw <laughs> one of our pricing models for a vertical application up there. Um, we're disrupting the economics of traditional machine-to-machine -machine and IoT applications. So we're doing things down into the pennies per month per device at huge volumes. And of course, we have some models where it traditionally works in uh, legacy or brownfield, like telematics markets and other sort of MDAM markets. But I'm just going to dive right into the platform and show folks how it works, 10 minutes, <clears throat> on an accelerated time frame here. Um, we are, by the way, a white-label company. We're very partner-driven. We empower other people to build their own revenue-generating services within our platform. And so they get full private labeling capability. And we have different packages. The login I have here is actually our sales cloud, where it's C-Control branded on the front page. And you can log in with your Facebook account, your LinkedIn account, uh, any Google account, um, as well as with a, a C-Control uh, account if you already have one. Or you can also sign up for the service uh, soon on, on a trial basis later on this year or early Q1 of next year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show folks what an end user application looks like. And the Wi-Fi is a little slow, so bear, bear with this. But I'll show you an end user application. So when they log into the same page, I'll show you what an end user sees. And then I'll show you the tools that are used to build the application. So real quickly, the way that our platform works is that we don't get down on devices. Um, the screen that I hope you're looking at uh, is talking about the way that we actually talk to devices. We write a cloud adapter. It sits at the edge of our network. It knows how to deal with common MDEM protocols, and we support virtually everything out there. And it knows how to establish a connection with a device. And then within that, Cloud Adapter is a language parser. So if we're talking to, for example, a telematics unit communicating over UDP via C++, that's one adapter. If we're talking to a telematics unit communicating over UDP that's speaking in Java or binary, those are the second and third adapters. So we get all these messages in the system um, from all over the place from different customers into one central repository. And just to kind of give you a quick, you know, small screenshot uh, sense of the way that it works, if you look at the far left-hand side of this slide, we have all of our customers' uh, data in one location. We can kind of go into every single message that's streaming into the system from the most recent message all the way to the, back, the last message. Um, and see what the raw data coming into the system is. In the middle, there is a drag and drop application builder. And again, it's really a front end for Java. Uh, it's kind of an Excel meets Visio type of approach where you draw a logical diagram and if then conditional statements and other sort of exotic things. And then you're picking from fields that are actually in um, the platform itself you've defined, such as temperature, humidity, uh, rotational speed of a, uh, of, a, of a tire or something. And then you have a, a series of standard, like what software developers would use to actually write code, al algorithmic type of functions, mathematical functions, et cetera. So when people working with the C-Control platform, including ourselves, measure development time for an application, we tend to measure it in the amount of keystrokes that you actually don't have to click. We want people to be able to be, click on things with their mouse and build an application. And we've been able to teach folks in a day or two to build really simple GPS tracking applications. And then, of course, an expert software developer with a very logical mind can get in the, in the platform and build something really amazing uh, with up to 100 web pages. So after you've done all that data analysis, and it really, there's no coding, there's no scripting languages, there's nothing to, to learn like that. It's all just a drag and drop experience. Thirdly, once you've actually gotten all that data prepped and ready, you can take it and literally just drag it onto multiple types of views. So our platform actually generates user interfaces, meaning it generates web pages. And you just drag data onto maps, which also supports mobile asset tracking with Chrome Trails, 
charts, something we call a schematic, where you can upload like a CAD CAM diagram of, say, this building and overlay alerts and uh, other sorts of interesting information happening with the building. Um, you can also um, build a form, uh, an actual workflow form, where you can um, either instruct assets to do things like shut themselves off or record some sort of business workflow activity on top of that asset. So when you log into our platform, had you seen me do this, what you'd see on the front end is uh, what we actually call the wall, and it has just a huge library of applications. So we have an application library where if you come into our platform, you pick one, something that we've already built, or you, you can start from scratch, and then it tells you what your device options are from there. And we support over 100 different uh, devices and sort of open protocols and uh, standard MDM communication technologies. <clears throat> and then at the end, this is what the end, the end customer is interacting with. They're seeing what looks to them to be a completely custom web application, although it's not compiled, it's just it's a processing space that's secure and running in our large platform. And they're, they're seeing dashboards, uh, SCADA-style views and gauges. Um, the system will display things in real time as fast as data coming in if you click a couple buttons in there. So you can actually, we have people that do do, do SCADA type of analysis and they can have a screen across the room and watch gauges move up and down. All kinds of different visualization tools. Um, and so <clears throat> on the back end, uh, we have designed this to run across, again, conceptually thousands of servers. And we have a whole monitoring system where as you plug more and more servers and cloud adapters and device gateways into our back end, you can monitor traffic and balance loads across a, a big server population. So the platform scales like crazy. Um, we can basically process, depending on what kind of analytics we're doing, up to 30 to 40,000 endpoint messages per second just on a single computer server. And so you just add, keep adding more servers to the cluster as you add more load, and you never have to take an application down. So there's no maintenance windows, et cetera. Uh, and that even uh, goes all the way to uh, reporting. If you want to add a new report, you design it in real time, hit update, and put it on a menu, and then boom, it shows up for the user right in the system. So with that, I think I'm probably running out of time. Um, any quick questions about this? Uh, one thing I should say is that we originally built this for the DOD. Uh, it's very enterprise grade and secure. Uh, the DO, a couple DOD contractors wanted to come into the commercial space and do things like outsource entire vehicle fleets for cities for performance-based contracts. Um, so you can do very, very sophisticated things in there like model a light armored vehicle flying across the desert and predict when uh, its track's going to fail or when it's going to need ammunition next. And actually, with our workflow tools, we can actually tell technicians, get ready to go service that light armor vehicle, get ready to order a spare part, and the system can actually order spare parts itself. So it's a complete comprehensive, almost lightweight ERP package built around the idea that a thing is an asset, and we've got to manage that asset in the most cost-effective way possible. So thanks, thanks for struggling or, or bearing with me as I struggled through some uh, Bill Gates type of moments. And uh, if you have any questions and you actually want to see a live demo, we have a booth tomorrow. It's booth 637, I believe. And uh, come on by, and we should have uh, everything up and running then. So thank you very much.